Hi guys, it's Louis here from Louis Tutorials and today I wanted to show you guys a fantastic online tool that allows you to create different charts, bar graphs, pie graphs, um, anything you really want as far as uh, charts are concerned and it, it gives you a chance to visually display your data to anyone uh, that you want to display data to I guess. So this is the home page here and basically you go to design your chart and we'll say we want to go to pie chart ask you if you want to have a normal one or a donut type or 3D or 2D and we'll just go through the motions here to give you an idea I already did something before where I, I created the graph title here pie chart test um, you can choose the background color, the title color, the font size and these are all your data sets here so I've got um, green, red, blue and as far as the prefix, whether you want a percentage or, or a dollar sign or something like that, you can do that in the next uh, in the labels and fonts section. But you can change the colors if you want. Um, now, if you uh, click on any of these little check boxes, what it does is it separates. For example, if we click on that, you'll see in the preview, it separates that actual part of the pie and uh, separates it from the other two. Uh, if we go to label section, this is where you can do all your different attributes for the labels. You, got, you can have the position on the outside, inside, on the side, on the side there. As you see, I put a prefix of a dollar here, dollar sign. You can do that percentage-wise as well if you like, or any other prefix. Um, but just let's go to the preview so we can see what our chart looks like for the moment. And there you go. So as you can see, it separated the, the red one as because we checked it. Um, and it dis you can have it either display the labels or not display it. And it gives you this section here telling you what each one is, what, what it's representing. Uh, the one thing that I found really fantastic about this site is it's it, the way it allows you to save and share the actual pie chart. For example, you can save it as a PNG, a JPEG, a PDF, a CSV. Um, you can also uh, email it to someone and then they get a link that takes them straight to here. They don't need to register, they don't need to log in, they can change any of the data sets and then they can email it back to you. Uh, I, I find this really quite cool compared to some of the other websites I've checked out and, and believe me I went through quite a lot of websites uh, to come to this one. Um, a lot of them just teach you how to try to do this in Photoshop or Adobe After Effects and seriously who's got time for all of that when you can do it nice and easily like this. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you like my videos, please subscribe and we'll see you guys very shortly. Bye for now.